Welcome back to Tooling Insight, your go-to channel for expert tips and insights into the world of machining and tooling. In today's episode, we'll be discussing a precise method for finding the center coordinates of a part using a dial test indicator and a digital readout. So, let's get started. Our first step is to approach the first side of the part. Gently bring the dial test indicator close to the part and slowly jog the dial until it reads zero. Take your time to ensure an accurate reading. Once the dial reads zero, it's important to find the tangent point, the point of maximum deflection of the indicator tip when it contacts the edge of the part. To do this, rotate the dial back and forth through a small arc while observing the deflection. When you've identified the tangent point, mark it as zero on your DRO. This will serve as a reference for the center coordinate. Now, it's time to move to the opposite side of the part. But here's an important note. Do not adjust the preload or position of the dial test indicator. We want to maintain consistency throughout the process. Approach the opposite side of the part in the same manner as before. Slowly bring the dial test indicator towards the part, positioning it so that it reads zero at the tangent point of this side. Take note of the reading on your DRO. The center of the workpiece is half the distance indicated on the DRO. This will give you one of the center X coordinates. Our reading is 81.325, so half is 40.165. Move the distance 40.165 and set the X axis to zero. To finish locating the center, use the same procedure to determine the remaining Y coordinates. This concludes this episode. Thank you for viewing Tooling Insight. If you enjoy it, please like, share, and subscribe for more machining skill videos.